What's up guys? This is Hook'em Horns. Um, here to show you my permutation drafting system. Um, I'm going to do this in a three part uh, tutorial here with the final one showing you how to do, use it in a mock draft. Uh, right here is the player uh, projection field. Right here is the starter draft round field. And right here is the player available field. Everything that you need to enter, all the data you need to enter is in the white field. Um, this is what it looks like when you open the program. I tried to uh, show you how it looks. Um, it's a little intimidating, but we're going to start at the very bottom. And um, I'm going to show you just what it looks like as a blank field um, here. Um, right here is where you just enter your players' names and fantasy points and projections. So let's say I say Aaron Rodgers. And then right here I say he's going to score 380 points. And then right here, I, in my league, I know that he's drafted in the first round. This is probably the most time-consuming thing to do. Um, you can do it in a couple options, though. Let's say you, you just want to do all of your own players. Um, and you want to type them by hand. That's completely fine. Um, when you get later on in the draft, and I'll show you this field later, um, all of these will update based on what you type down there. So even if you spell a name wrong, you don't have to worry about it because it auto-completes for you. Um, what I would do recommend here, though, is to um, use the Guru projections. They're great. Um, if you hold down Alt and Tab, you can go between different programs and I'm going to select quarterbacks. What I'm going to do is select the top quarterback, hold down Control Shift, scroll to the very bottom, uh, select or Control C copies. Alt Tab goes back to my program that I was just using. And now instead of Control V, I'm going to do Alt. E, which is edit, S, which is paste special, and V, which is values. I'm pasting just the raw text, not the fonts, not the formatting, not the shading, not the cell. I'm just putting the raw text in there. So I just pasted the raw text. Go back to Guru. And if I scroll to the far, far right, you can see uh, the player projection totals. I do the same thing. I uh, select all of them either by Control, Shift, and Down. Or just uh, highlighting with the with your mouse. Alt Tab, go back. Alt E S V, paste the values. There you go. And then here's where I enter. Whoops. Here's where I enter um, the round. Again, you can do this by hand, um, or you can use the average draft position. Excuse me. Um, the average draft position right here um, is kind of a, a indicator of when a player will be taken. Um, if you want a little trick, let's say you're in a 12 team mock. You can select um, and press equal and then press the left arrow or and, and select the cell with the average draft position divided by the number of teams in your league and that will give you a decimal. If you change that um, and hit control 1 and just change that to zero decimal places, it will round up and give you round 1. And do that for the remaining cells, uh, so copy and paste and it will automatically update the formula for all of them. That's a little trick. If I just intimidated the heck out of you and, and lost you, that's okay. You can still um, do this by hand and go 1, 1 if you wanted to. But I'm going to copy and paste. Whoops. Special. Raw text. Now I've got my average draft round. So there you go. That's You do that for the remaining players um, in the wide receiver and tight end columns. And then, when a player is being drafted, as you'll see in the fourth tutorial, all you do is delete the X, and the player's name goes gray, indicating that they've been taken. And you know visually, um, Excel isn't making any calculations based on that, but you know visually that a player is taken. Alright, there you go.